Today's Daily Dose of Math looks at using a vanishing point with a photo. Okay, so here I've gone outside and I took a picture of this building. And this edge of the roof and this edge of the building are actually parallel, but they don't look parallel. In the photograph, they look like they're going to meet at a vanishing point. And over here on the left side, the same thing is happening. This edge of the roof and this edge of the building are actually parallel, but instead look like they're getting closer together. And now I've drawn in my two vanishing points and the lines that are followed by those edges of the building. We can see that this vanishing point is closer to the photograph and this one is further. And this has to do with the angle the photograph was taken from. But then I moved to another part of the parking lot and I took another photo, which looks like this. Again, the same edge of roof and edge of building are showing as if they're not really parallel when we know they really are. And over on the left side, the same thing is happening. Let's look at the vanishing points now. The way I moved to my right in the parking lot resulted in this vanishing point on the left side of the building getting a lot closer to the building and this one on the right side getting further. But the same situation is happening. Now we can understand what happens when we want to draw an object like a building and how we can use vanishing points as a way of creating the angle we wish the object to be seen from. That is today's Daily Dose of Math. Please like, subscribe and share.